Good evening and I hope you had a great time and a wonderful day. Welcome to the quiz show where if you know, you know and if you don't, we confirm it. Here we are going to have fun while you learn. As per K, I'm your host, Buddha Boss. It's time to get to find out who our contestants are and I will begin to my extreme right. Madam, what is your name and what do you do? I'm Shunza Shila, I'm a mother of one. Hey, mother of one! Karibu sana. The first time mtu amekuja akasema, what do you do? I am a mother of one. Napenda hiyo. Karibu sana Sheila. Sir, what's your name and what do you do? My name is Douglas Kipiegon and I'm a student. Douglas Kipiegon? Yeah. Karibu sana ndugu yangu. Student where? At Star of Secondary School. Ah, uko high school? Yeah. Class gani? Form 3. Form 3? Yeah. Nimeona hiyo game umetuchezea. Nimeona. Nimeona mahali mnatuchezea. Anyway, what's the name of this team? Dagi. Dagi. Yeah. <laughs> Team Dagi. All right, sir. What's your name? What do you do? My name is Derek Anemba. Yes. I'm a delivery agent. Delivery agent. Karibu sana Derek. Mapenda hiyo. Sir, what's your name? What do you do? My name is Brian Obote. Yes. And I'm uh, I'm working at a company called Cube Movers. Cube Ah, Cube Movers. Mapenda hiyo. Yeah. Ah, karibu sana Brian. Yeah. Team yenu inaitwaje? Team Chameleon. Team Chameleon. All right, we have Team Chameleon versus Team Dagi. Eh hey, timu dagi wametuchezea rafiki kidogo wametuletea mtu wako form 3 lakini wacha tujue kama ataweza awezi we shall discover all right let's move on to our first challenge which is the quick fire trivia we are going to ask 10 questions they have 60 seconds to respond every correct answer is going to earn 100 points to the team here they cannot discuss and i would like to begin with team dagi Dagi? Yes. Nenda na wewe? Ndio. Napenda your confidence. All right? General knowledge. 10 questions. 60 seconds. Time begins. Now. Which bird can fly backwards? You don't know say pass. Pass. What is commonly known as the national fruit of India? Pass. Which is the eighth and, fa- and farthest known planet from the sun in the solar system? Neptune, correct. Which mammal has the largest brain by weight, a human or a sperm whale? Chuck. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> How much of the human body is water? 80%. 80% incorrect. Where would you find the sea of tranquility? Pass. Pass. All right. What is the only mammal that cannot jump? Pass. All right. How many pounds are in a stone? 100. Sorry? 100. 100 incorrect. Which woman is mentioned most in the Bible? Sorry. Correct. What is the capital of Turkey? Pass. Pass. All right. Two questions correct so far. 200 points. Eh, hey, which mammal has the largest brain by weight? Is it a human? or a sperm whale and you say it's a shark. <laughs> oh boy. Yote tisa ni sawa. The capital of Turkey is Ankara and we have 14 pounds in a stone. 200 points for Team Dagi. So far so good. Chameleon. Yes. <laughs> Derek, I would like to begin with you. Okay. Is it fine? Yes it is. Okay, don't have an option. Tupomana nani yako. 10 questions 60 seconds the time begins. Now, vanilla comes from what flowers? Pass. Pass. All right. Ecchymosis is a grand medical name for what common issue? Pass. Pass. What was Sri Lanka called before the country's name changed in 1972? Pass. Pass. All right. What is the Spanish word for beer? Pass. Pass. All right. Where is the body? Where in the body would you find the metatarsal? In the leg. In the leg. I'll give that one correct. What is the periodic symbol for gold? G D. Incorrect. What colors go together to make purple? Blue, red. Correct. What insect is the symbol of Manchester? Pass. Pass. All right. What does K stand for in poker game? No count. <laughs> What is the currency in Uganda? Pound. Pound.
Chilling. We don't have a Ugandan pound. <laughs> <laughs> the K in poker is not for knockout. <laughs> it is for kickback. <laughs> oh my God! Oh, the insect that symbolizes Manchester is a bee, and of course the Spanish word for beer is cerveza. You guys have gotten two questions correct. You are at 200 points. What? What are you so far? Lakini wacha tukuje hapa ni lazima ile upande wacha nikuje huu upande wakati huu you guys have an opportunity of choosing between history sports or entertainment tell me which one do you go with Yes Brian which one Okay your time is almost up History History all right You see ukisema huko poa pole ndugu yangu pole pole but I'm sure you'll get something. Ready when you are? Brian, I'd like to begin with you. Yeah, Time begins now. Which black American civil rights movement leader is known for being the I have a dream speech? Barack Obama. Uh, Barack Obama, incorrect. South Africa's system of racial segregation was known as? Correct. Who was the first vice president of Kenya? Time is ticking. Kenyatta. Kenyatta. <laughs> Incorrect. Which country's flag is known as the Union Jack? Incorrect. Which month of the year 2020 did Mzee Arab Moi die? July. July. Incorrect. <laughs> Mekatilili Wamenza led which tribe in Kenya? Correct. In which area of the world did the ancient Mayan population live? Pass. Pass. Which US president was assassinated, was assassinated in 1963 while riding a motorcade? John Kennedy. Correct. Which African is considered the richest man to ever live? Time is speaking. Zugaba. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one last one. Which year was Tom Boyer assassinated? 1989. Incorrect! <laughs> Brad, you'll kill me. <laughs> okay. Mark Zuckerberg is a Kenyan African. That is incorrect. The correct answer is Mansa Musa from Mali. Tom Boyer was assassinated in 1969. And I asked you who was the first vice president of Kenya and you said it was Kenyatta. It is well with your soul. The correct <laughs> answer is Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. You guys have gotten, if I'm not wrong, four questions correct. Is it four or three? Uh, that is one, two... Uh, <coughs> actually three questions additional correct all right all right that is 300 points additional you are now at 500 points and by the way i have a dream speech was by martin luther king kuna kitu lisema hapo kwa barack obama maintain team daddy yes entertainment or sports shila tunakufa na gani Which one? Entertainment. Entertainment. Sheila, I would like to begin with you. Your time begins now. Which movie did Brad Smith and Angelina Jolene star in where it ignited their romance? Pass. Pass. Who sang the gospel song Sita Ogopa and hosts a show called The Full Circle? Shosho. Shosho. Incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sauti Souls new reality show is called Pass. Pass. All right. What superhero is the TV show Smallville based on? Pass. Pass. All right. Which Ugandan artist won a BET award in 2015? Pass. Pass. What is the name of the 2020 Netflix series starring Pal Tusi or Pil Tusi? Pass, all right. Kamene Koro and Jalango host a show on which radio station? Citizen, incorrect. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was? <laughs> what? <laughs> what were the Powerpuffs girls' names? Pass, all right. Who is the richest Black American woman in the world? Pass. Pass. Pascal Tokodi is a singer and an actor. Currently, he's main actor on which Swahili show? Pass! Oh, my God. Okay. Pascal Tokodi is now starring on Selena. Okay. Richest black woman, black American woman, that is Oprah Winfrey. Alafu kuna kidogo nilifkiri tuneza kupata sauti soul of a reality show called Soul Family. Full Circle is hosted by the one and only Joyce Omondi. So you guys have been privileged to get uh, nothing so far. So you still remain at 200 points. Not bad. Let's move on to our next challenge of two toots and one lie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the quiz show and we are on to our challenge of two toots and one lie. We are going to read out three statements, two of which are true. The task is to find out which of the three is the false statement. Our leader so far, Team Chameleon, are at 500 points. And we have Team Dagi at 200 points. You guys have an opportunity of discussing here. You can give me your team answer. Your statements read as follows, and I believe they will also appear on the screen. One bale of cotton can produce up to 225 pairs of jeans. True or false? <clears throat> There are 12 basic emotions. True or false? There are three types of rice grain, short, medium, and long. Which of the three statements is incorrect? Your five statements, I mean three statements, five seconds, discuss and give me your answer. I would like to hear from you, Brian, on behalf of the team. <coughs> it is statement number one, statement number two, or statement number three? Statement number two. Statement number two is incorrect. How many emotions do we have if not 12? Talk to me, Brian. Okay. Yeah? You have no idea? I have no idea. You have no idea, but you're convinced it is wrong. <laughs> Mungu na tusaidia leo. Ko, one bale of cotton can produce 225 pairs of jeans. Correct. There are three types of rice grain. Correct. Which means the false statement is statement number two. 100 additional points. Good job, Brian. Mungu wa 600. Yata mutu smile. Thank you. Thank you so much. Umekunja sura ni kabu umeta chukua kapa. Okay. Thank you so you guys have an opportunity of getting 100 points. Can you make it 300 points? Your three statements read as follows. On average, a pen can write approximately 45,000 words. True or false? Statement number two. Most stringed instruments have something that amplifies the sound. Statement number three. The hand has 47 bones. Which one is true? Which one is false? Dagi, I would like to hear from you on behalf of the team. Give me your answer. One, two, or three. Talk to me, Dagi. Three. Three? Yeah. Umesema 47 bones ni wongo. How many bones do you have in your hand? Not more than 47. Eh? Not more than 47. <laughs> Not more than 47. That means they are 47. Less than 47. Yeah, less than 47. Kipiego, no sound Kipiego, Douglas. Yeah. Nisawa. Statement number one is true. Statement number two is also true, which means statement number three is the false statement. 
We have 27 bones in the hand and not 47. Therefore, 100 points to you. Apo sawa, napenda yo. 300 points for Team Dagi. 600 points for Team Chameleon. I don't know what you think so far. But we'll be right back after this short commercial break. Let's see what you can Welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it. We are having a show and a half so far. We have our leaders, Team Chameleon at 600 points. That is the team to my left. And of course, Team Dagi at 300 points. They are coming on pretty fast. We are moving on to our challenge, which is the dictionary challenge. And we begin with guess the meaning of the word. We are going to give them a word. All we are looking for is the synonym. We are going to give them four options. Here you can discuss and give me your team answer, but you can also snatch 100 points should the other team be unable to get the correct answer. Are you ready? Team leaders, two answers on Nini. Mukotari. Derek. Yes. work on this one. Your word is enthralled. Your options are A, captivated, B, mournful, C, unlimited, D, endemically. Enthralled. Is it A, B, C, or D? A, B, C, or D? Yes. A, captivated. A, captivated! Believe it or not! Correct! 100 points! <laughs> you are now at 700 points. Over to you. Your word is... Hey, hey. Autochthonous. Autochthonous. Your options are A, propound. No, sorry. A, kowtow. B, endemic. C, which I don't have, I will say cabal and D is strange. Oh, C is data. Sorry. Autochthonous. Kautau, endemic, data or strange. Endemic. Endemic! Good job. Good job. Good job. I like it. Correct! 100 points! You are at 400 points! Over to you! Can you make it 800 points? Your word is recapitulate. Options are A, propound, B, gosh, C, repeat, D, hubris. Hubris. I'd like to hear from you, Brian, on behalf of the team. Is it A, B, C, or D? Options are propound, gosh, repeat, or hubris. The multiple choice is propound. Eh. The multiple choice is propound. You ready? Show for it. Yeah. I like it. Good job. Incorrect. You guys can smash 100 points. <laughs> Sheila, join the cards. B. Oh, gosh. Gosh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Incorrect. The correct answer is C. Repeat. Oh. <laughs> can you guys get 100 points? Your word is moiety. Moiety. Options are A, Hall, B, Equinox, C, Facetious, D, Pat. Is it A, B, C, or D? Douglas, let me hear from you. Moiety, A, B, C, or D? Hall, Equinox, Facetious, or Pat? Facetious. Facetious! <laughs> Incorrect! You guys can snatch 100 points. Derek. Hall. Hall. Okay. Okay. Incorrect. The correct answer is D. Pat. <laughs> Pat. <laughs> Let's move on to our next challenge of spell the word. <laughs> Hey, what do you This is the question. We are on to our spell the word challenge. We're going to read out a statement, pick a word, test the contestants to spell that word correctly. So far, so good. We begin our with our leaders so far, Team Chameleon, who are at 700 points. 
Watomongo, your statement reads as follows. The meal was astonishingly plenteous. Spell for me the word plenteous. Plenteous. Haya, Derek, ni mwono maenza kuandika. Nipatia spelling on behalf of the team. Plenteous. P. P. L. L. E. E. N. N. T. T. I. I. O. O. U. U. F. Incorrect, but so close. You guys can snatch 100 points. Sheila, can you give me the correct spelling? P. P. L. L. E. E. N. N. T. T. I. I. O. O. U. U. R. R. S. R. S. 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 So what is the difference between your spelling and theirs? <laughs> okay. In. Correct. The correct spelling is P L E N T E, not I O U S. So close, but not correct. Over to you. Your statement reads as follows. Carla could not help feeling a degree of reluctant admiration for this odd female specimen. Spell for me the word specimen. Sheila, I can see you writing. Give me the spelling. Let's go. S P. Yes. A. S P A. C A. C A. C E. C E. M E N. M E N. Incorrect. You guys can snatch 100 points. Turn the cozy. S P. S P. E. E. C I. C I. M E N. M E N. Correct. 100 points. You are now at 800 points. Good job, guys. <laughs> Can you make it 900 points? Your statement reads as follows. Their facial contortions are hilarious. Spell for me the word contortion. Contortion. I'd like to hear from Brian on this one. Contortion. Yes, Brian. C-O. C-O. N-T. N-T. O-N. O-N. T. T. I. Yeah. Yes. T I O N. T I O N. Yeah. Incorrect. <laughs> Douglas, you can snatch 100 points. C O. C O. N T. N T. O U. O U. R. R. T. T. I. I. O. O. N. In. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correct spelling is C O N T O R. T-I-O-N. Nobody gets a point there. Can you guys make this one? Your statement reads as follows. A malleable metal can be beaten into a sheet. Spell malleable. Douglas. Malleable. Malleable. Your time is almost up. Let's go. M. M. E. E. R. R. L. L. I. I. A. A. B. B. O. O. L. O. L. Malia Ball. In. Correct. Derek, can you snatch 100 points? Yes. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> M. M. A. A. L. L. I. I. A. A. B. B. L. L. E. E. Mwana tofauti. Mwana. Sata shilo mefil. Alright. In. Correct. <laughs> M A double L E A B L E is the correct spelling. Nobody gets a point there. We still have our team Dagi at 400 points. Or is it 300? <laughs> 400 points, and this one is 800 points if I'm not wrong. So far, so good. Hey, why don't you take VP? Guess the logo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the question we are on to our challenge which we call guess the logo we are going to show some logos of famous brand names all they have to do is discover the name we are looking for and this time round we are focusing on luxurious cars what to magari leo tutapambana dagi usijali <laughs> Whatever you do, Akuna Toyota apa. Sawa sawa. Whatever you do, Akuna Toyota apa. <laughs> sawa. Okay, our leaders at 800 points, you get the opportunity of going first. All you have to do is tell me 
which car am I looking for? Your image is this one. Yeah, talk to me. <laughs> Maserati. 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 You're sure? Yes. You're sure it's Maserati? 100%. 100%? Just in case they're wrong. Just in case. Daddy, what do you think? Mercedes. Mercedes. <laughs> 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 Is it Maserati or Mercedes? Let's find out. It is Maserati. <laughs> One hundred additional points. You are now at nine hundred points. My God, just on the same. Not. Let's see if you can guess this one. This is the next image for you guys. Tell me, Brian. Talk to me. Aston Magic. I'm on. Must I get to read anything? Aston Martin. Eh? Aston Martin. Aston Martin. Yeah. Sheila. Aston Martin. <laughs> <laughs> you are carrying us. This was an Adubeba. Anyway, let us find out. Is it Aston Martin? It is Aston Martin. Correct. Why? One thousand points. <laughs> Don't worry. This one you can be able to figure out what you are looking for. Your image is this one. Talk to me, Douglas. Sheila. Eh, Jaribu. 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 Jaribu, you can be somewhere. Jaribu. Ndugu si nilisema tukianza tuachane na Toyota. What from? What from? See this. Hey, Brian, Eric, which one? Bentley. 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 All right. Is it? Of course, it is not Toyota. Forget about it. Is it Bentley? It is Bentley. Of course, hata kulikuwa na B hapo but busiogope. This next one mutapata. Mutapata, niko na imani. This is what I'm looking for. Is it busy? Is it busy? Douglas, Sheila. Yes? No. Yes, no. Sheila, try it. Tell it to you. Yes, you're almost getting it. Huh? Nigari, Nigari. Which one? Sijui, maji mezini unga. Derek. Ferrari. 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 Would you like to change your answer? No, no, no. Eh. Haya. Sawa. Let's find out. Porsche. Porsche. That is what we are looking for. Hmm. Munge nisikisa kidogo tu. Munge kwa at 1,200 points. But now, you still remain at 1,100 points. That is Team Chameleon. Wee. Team Dagi. Bado tuko pale 300 but tunaweza. Tunaweza tuwezi. Tunaweza. Tunaweza. Let's come back after this short commercial break. <laughs> Welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it. We are moving on swiftly to our next challenge, which is guess the price. We're going to ask, uh, actually show our product and we are going to expect them to give us the correct price, which falls within a price range that we have sampled from all the supermarkets across the capital city of Nairobi. Our leaders, you go first and your first product is uh, Brookside. Is it Fino or Fino Milk? 500 ml. 12 pieces. Apo ndo mtia niko. I know you expect the image. Wewe. Ndire niko pambana na alienu. There it is. If in case you unataka. 12 pieces. Apo ndo mtia niko. 12 pieces. Brookside. Either fino or fino milk. 500 ml. 12 pieces. Brian. Nipe jipu. 
540. 540, would you like to change your answer? No, no. No, in case they're wrong, Douglas, what would be your price? Talk to me. Go, Sheila. 530. 500 and? 30. Would you like to change your answer? 500. 500, okay. The correct price range is anything between 595 and 605 Kenya shillings. So nobody gets a point there. Over to you. Your next product is this one. FCL Beef Smokies. 400 grams. Mutiani Niko 400 grams. Derek, what's the price? I'm a brand new guy. Let's go. Give me the price. 450. 450. Smoking. You know, you're going to get Over to you guys. Douglas, what's your price? 200 grams. 200 grams. Dougie. Is it going to be this guy? Yeah, we only 400 grams to get out. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 200 grams. 40. <laughs> God help me. Hey. All right, is it 40? Is it 450? The correct price line is anything between 170 and 175. Can you shillings? Okay, no points so far. Over to you guys. Can you make this one 400 points? Your product is Makofi Classic Coffee 100 grams. Mutiani Niko 100 grams. Sheila, let me hear from you. 100 grams. What's the price? 375. 375. Would you like to change your answer? Yes or no? No. No. What would be your answer, Brian? 170. 340. Would you like to change your answer? Yes. Yes. Which one? 175. 175. You're going places. <laughs> and I hope that will be the supermarket. All right. The <laughs> The correct price range is anything between 395, you are so close, and 405 Kenya shillings. No points so far. Can you guys get 100 points? Fruitness yogurt vanilla cup, 250 ml. Mtihani ni kwa 250 ml. Tell me what is the price. Dagi, you never tell me that you have 40. What's your answer? Time is up. 160. 160! Final chance to change your answer. 180. 180! Derek, Brian. 170. 170! The correct price range is anything between 75 Kenya shillings <laughs> <laughs> and 80 Kenya shillings so far, no point. Hiya, we are coming on to our final challenge for the day. Back to school. <laughs> this is the quiz show. We are on to our final challenge of the day, which is back to school. We are going to test our contestants on how much they can remember of what they learned in school. Team Dagi are at 400 points and the leading team so far is the Chameleon at 1,100 points. What's your angle? Muna tesa lakini wata tuwane kama kiswaili tuwa kimanya. Au tuwa kimanyanya. Kuna mtu wali tuwambia kitu kama hiyo kwa show. Haya, hapa mwezi kujadiliana. Hivi basi ningependa niombe nianze nani? Nianze ningependa nianze nawe, Brian, kama ni sawa. Hapa mwezi kujadiliana. Soali siyo mingi sana. Sita peke yake. Kipata, tunaenda tukienda. Kotari? Kotari. Haya, soli la kwanza ni hili? Kamilisha metali. Kidole kimoja? Akirinji chao. Umepata? Tarakilishi huwa katika ngeli ya? Kivi. Kivi, la hasha. Kiungo aina ya madini kinachongeza, kinachongeza ladha kwa chakula huitwa? Ni? Ni? Muda wako yeyoma? Kama ujui? Haya, hasanti. Mtoto wa bata anaitwa nani? 
Hujui haya kitendawili tega chakula kikuu cha mtoto maziwa na hasa shairi lenye mishororo mitatu katika kila ubeti huitwaje Asante sana ni ukweli lakini maana amekuambia pole sana sitakupa <laughs> Hapa nilisema hakuna kujadiliana hakuna kusaidiana ni ukweli jibu sahihi ni tathlita lakini sitawapa uh, kitenda wili of course niliwaambia chakula kikuu cha mtoto ulisema maziwa jibu sahihi ni usingizi sio maziwa kisha mtoto wa bata ni kioyo alafu Ha, kiungo aina ya madini kinachoongeza ladha cha kwenye chakula ni chumvi. <laughs> ah, tarakilishi huwa katika ngeli ya easy. Hivi sasa mmepata alama moja peke yake zaidi mko na alama elfu moja mia mbili Hai, Douglas. Yeah. Nina kwamba hapa utajikakamua vilivyo. Sivyo? Haya. Ningependa nianze nawe. Swali la kwanza ni hili. Kamilisha metali. Samaki mkunje. Angali. A- angali? Angali uha. <laughs> angali? Shit. Angali? Amekuambia kwa hivyo hiyo sitakupa. Hamna. Hakuna alama umepata kumbuka, hakuna kujadiliana. Shila, pamana na hali yako peke yako. Kipanya, body bota, mulishi kitengo kikuu cha uchakataji zote hizi ni sehemu za ikembe cha nzi ni pita haya merikebu ni chombo ambacho kinatumiwa kusafiri wapi majini sawa nitakupea kitenda wili bakbandika bakbandua Mzige. <laughs> Na hasha umenoa. Andika udogo. Ngombe wao si mkubwa. Ngombe wao si mkubwa. Kwa udogo. Kwa udogo. Kangombe kao si <laughs> Kama umekao. <laughs> Kama umekao si kakubwa. <laughs> Hako kajibu, hakako sawa. <laughs> Jibu sahihi ni kigombe chao si kikubwa. Kigombe. Bak bandika bak bandua. Jibu sahihi ni nyayo. Kisha kikembe cha nzi ni bu. Kipanya body bota mulishi. Hizi zote ni aina ya tarakilishi. Mm. Kisha metali samaki mkunje. <laughs> Ulisema angali ako hai. <laughs> Ndugu yangu Douglas. Sisemi kitu. Hai, mmepata alama moja sahihi. Muko na mpata swali moja sahihi, muko na alama moja zaidi, muko na alama tano hivi sasa bado muongoza. Muko na nafasi ya kuchagua kati ya sayansi hisabati na somo la teknolojia au ICT. Derek gani? Science, amesema. Science. Haya watu wanaweza na wewe Derek mwanzo tupambane na kitu very fast. Uko tayari? Niko tayari. Haya. First question. When iron comes into contact with water and oxygen, it forms a red substance called Correct. Correct. The tube like structure which connects the stigma and the ovary is called Filament incorrect which soil is also known as agricultural soil because of its fertility appropriate texture and support to growth of plants Lumsan. Correct a fish has dash that allows it to breathe underwater yes. Correct from which lens does image appear bigger and closer to the lens is it concave lens or convex lens Convex lens Correct name the seven colors of the rainbow uh, red. Yes Yes. Indigo. Yes. Violet. Yes. Two more. Orange. Correct. One more. Red. Red you already said. Green. Green. All right. Correct. Red, orange, 
yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Those are the seven colors of the rainbow. You have 100 points there. You have gotten one, two, three, four, five questions correct. 500 additional points. Hey, <laughs> 1,700 points for Team Chameleon. The answer I was looking for for the tube-like structure which connects the stigma and the ovary is the style. Higher, over to you. <laughs> We can finish strong. Mm -hmm. We can finish strong. Aya, to kona mathematics, that to kona ICT. Gun. Mathematics. Sheila. Mathematics. Higher. Nikapana ni zana Sheila. Niko shom kona karatasi. Just in case you need to do some quick math. All right. If we minus 712 from 1,500. How much do we get? 700. If we minus 712 from 1,500, how much do we get? Time is ticking. Time is ticking, Sheila. 778. 778? In! Correct! The circumference of the circle is also called what? The circumference of the circle is also sometimes called what? Diameter! <laughs> Incorrect! How many sides does a decagon have? Sheila, decagon, how many sides does it have? Six. Six! Incorrect! How many dimensions does a rectangle have? Name them. How many dimensions does a rectangle have? Name them. Three. Rectangle. <laughs> In. Correct. <laughs> Eight raised to the power of zero is equal to what? Eight raised to the power of zero is equal to what? A hundred! <laughs> Incorrect! The smallest four digit number is. The smallest four digit number is. Pass! Okay! <laughs> the correct answer is 1000. That is the smallest four digit number. Eight raised to the power of zero is one. How many dimensions does a rectangle have? You said three. It is two. Length, width. How many sides does a decagon have? It is not six, it is ten. And then of course, a circumference is also called a perimeter, not a diameter. Dagi, <laughs> usia If we minus 712 from 1500, it is 788. Not seven, uh, seventy-eight. Kama kosa kidogo, but you are almost there. You have done well. You have gotten zero on this one. But <laughs> five hundred points. Hey, Dagi. <laughs> Dagi, kume kuwaje. Yeah, yeah. I think so far on the show, this is the youngest we've had. Form three. I think ni mekuwa na form four, form three. My brother, experience in my quad. In my quad, after dogo. Yeah. Okay. Usijali, I understand. The benye atu jakuwa shule ni ni sidio. Aya, I have to be in my honor. All right, <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> experience kwa kime kwa namna gani? Tough kiasi. Tough kiasi. But it is well. You guys have tried. Congratulations, 500 points. See I'm chairs over now. 500 points out of 4,200. It's not a joke. Aya, karim. Karibu Karibu ni sana Dero. Eh nani anakuja upande? Kaka hapa Dero, kama hapa side. Usiogope. Nikuwe na Brayo hapa hivi. Brayo? Yes. Leo umejaribu mchi wangu. Lakini Kiswahili kidogo. Eh experience ni kwa highlight yako so far ilikuwa nini kwa show? Man unaona hapa tulitesa. Okay. Na sema nimeona a big 
challenge yes yes whereby mm. no na it's a bit tricky kwa yes. sababu mm. zile questions zenye ulikuwa na letter yes ilikuwa inanibamba lakini mm. yani ilikuwa rahisi lakini kuijibu inakuwa ni ngori unasema swali ni rahisi ni rahisi lakini kuijibu ndio ngori inakuwa ngori kama kama afadhali swali ngumu hey, afadhali ile nyota struggle nayo eh hey. yeah unapita nayo kabisa Derek swali zilikuwa rahisi swali zilikuwa rahisi ndio ehe lakini kawoga kidogo tu ndio kana kawoga tu ndio kana kana kufanya unasahau tu vitu zingine unasahau vitu zingine mm. but guys have tried mmemaliza vizuri ladies and gentlemen if you want to participate on the show remember all you have to do is send an sms to the number 2239 and we get in touch and we get you on this show tuone kama wewe unaweza pambana na maswali rahisi na uweze kujibu aspake let's continue this conversation online at freddy buda boss or buda boss live tuone venye kutakuwa so far so good thank you you guys have an opportunity of finishing off venye muna i feel mutaka fa nini venye mutaamua tunakafunga tunaka na kama nyuria all right tumeka na kama nyuria mtu ambwa lights Mtuangu lights ka. Watanimaliza. Mtuangu lights. Nimeona. Ka. Lazima nipate. 